number in standard form when it is already written in scientific notation. So we'll get our marker and get started. We know that we've got a power of 3 here, and it's a positive power. So that means we're going to start with our exponent right behind the 6, or excuse me, our decimal. We're going to have to move it over 3 places to account for that positive exponent of 3, which will give us a number of 6,000. Okay, so 6,000 for the first one. The next one, the decimal is going to start right behind that 4, but we're going to move it to the left because of this negative 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4 is where the decimal is going to go, and we are inputting three zeros in front of that 4. So 0. 0. 0.0004. <clears throat> okay, here's a couple of problems from our last unit on exponents. So we've got some uh, an expression here with exponents in this parentheses. We've got to remember that that 3 has an exponent of 1. And then we multiply the outside exponent by each number on the inside. So 3 times that exponent of 1 would be 3 to the 4th power. 4 times 2 would be a to the 8th power. And 4 times 3 would be b to the 12th power. Now part of the reason we're putting this on here is because several people missed this on our concept tests. And then another thing to remember, when you have 3 to the 4th power, that uh, simplifies to be 81. And so that's what we were looking for. But if you didn't put that, you might have done 4 times 3 and given us a 12 instead. And I saw that several times. Okay, so there's what the, the best answer would be. The next best one would be this one right here. Okay, we have another um, fractional expression. So we've got to simplify this by moving things around and simplifying. But first of all, we've got to look at this y to the minus 2. We don't like negative exponents, so we're going to, or that's an x to the minus 2 power, sorry. We're going to move that down to the bottom and make it positive, just like that. And then we're going to forget that it's even up here, so I just kind of ignore it. And now we're going to simplify, so we can go across the bottom here and look and say we've got x to the 0 and an x to the 3rd and an x to the 2nd, so 0 plus 3 plus 2 would be x to the fifth. And then on our y values, we got a 4 and a 1, so that would be y to the fifth. And then we're going to subtract. We also have a 3. I knew we can't forget that 3 that's our coefficient. Now we're going to subtract the smallest y, co y exponent from the top and the bottom, which would make that go away because it would be y to the 0, which is 1. And then the bottom would be 5 minus 3, which is 2. So our bottom is going to be 3x to the 5th, y to the 2nd. And then our top is just going to be 4. So when we get it all done, this is going to have a 4 on top. And that's how you simplify those expressions. I, well, some of you probably had a little trouble on that last test. You'll be ready for the next test. All right, so we're still talking about scientific notation, and now we're going to talk about estimating because sometimes scientific notations have more decimal places in them than we would like them to have, and we may, maybe we don't need something quite that accurate or precise. So when it comes to, to estimating, let's get into that. So... First of all, standard form in, sci to, in scientific notation. This looks like this is a standard form. When we move that decimal over till we get it behind the first non-zero digit, that's how we put it into scientific notation form. And we moved it eight places to the right, so that's why we got a negative eight. Okay, so we're going to use... A positive exponent when you move the decimal point to the left and a negative exponent when you move it to the right. So that's just a little review of how you do it. Okay, 
So here's a, an example of one. Let's say you write the number in scientific notation for Google purchased YouTube for this amount. So we've got to move the decimal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine places. And this would be 1.65 times 10 to the positive ninth power because we moved it to the left. And we recognize this is a positive number because this is a big number. All right, so we've got another problem here. We've got an album has sold 8,780,000 copies. How many copies does it need to sell to receive the award? Well, in order to estimate, which is a topic of today's discussion, we're going to round this up to 9 million copies. So 9 million. And we know we need to get up to 10 million copies to, to get the award. So if we do 10 million minus 9 million, then we need about or approximately 1 million more copies in order for this to receive the award. So this is one way to, to do an estimation using scientific notation. It's just round up to a nearest 10 million or million or whatever that you decide is necessary in your particular application. Let's try another one. Uh, okay, estimate to the nearest whole number. All right, so if we got this one, we got 2.345. So the whole number column is this ones column. And that three is not a five or bigger, so that's not big enough to cause this to be rounded up. So the nearest whole number would be two. In this case, the whole nearest whole number column would be the three. And the 6 is 5 or bigger, so that's going to make that 3 round up to uh, 4. All right, so you remember doing rounding before, right? Okay, so estimate numbers using scientific notation. For each part below, estimate the number using scientific notation. Write your answer, answer as a single digit times a power of 10. So in this case, we are going to round to this this n digit, which is a hundred thousandths column in this case, because we only want one digit left. So if we look at this, we've got 672,800. And so this seven is going to cause this six to round up to a seven. And then we're going to write the rest of it using scientific notation. So that's times 10 to the one, two, three, four, fifth power. So we're, we're just taking a number, rounding it, and then writing it in scientific notation. Okay, a telescope is able to detect radiation with a wavelength of this many meters. So we're going to round it, or we're going to put it in scientific notation in this case. And behind the decimal, the numbers are so small, it's not going to cause this 7 to round up to an 8. So we're just going to call this 8 times 10 and we went one, two, three, four, so minus four power. This is how we estimate using scientific notation. In fact, I need to look at that for a minute. That's a seven. This is a one. So then we actually wouldn't round this up, would we? Good thing we were watching and caught that. That should just be a seven. So let's go back and, and edit that and put the seven in there. Seven times ten for the minus four. Minus fourth power. Okay, keep it going. Estimating numbers using scientific notation. So we've got to move this over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're going to have times 10 to the seventh power on it. And then the first digit is a two, the second digit's a nine. That nine is big enough to round that first digit up to a three. Okay. A signal from a certain satellite takes this many seconds to reach Earth. So if I move it over two places to get it into scientific notation, that's going to be times 10 to the minus 2 power. And then we're going to just round up to this first digit, which is a 4. And the digits behind it are not big enough to cause this to round up to a 5. So it's going to stay the same. 
4 times 10 to the minus 2. All right, hopefully you're starting to get the idea here. Let's keep going. A certain solution has a hydrogen ion concentration of this many moles per liter. Now, that looks like a really small number, but those are the kind of numbers you're going to see in chemistry, and those amounts actually do cause things to happen in chemistry or in the real world. So we've got to move the decimal over one, two, three, four, five places. So on our answer, we're going to have times 10. And since we moved the decimal to the right, to get it into scientific notation, we'll have a negative 5. Then we've got the 5 right here, and then the digit behind it is 1. So the 5 is just going to stay a 5 rather than rounding up to a 6. All right, the total surface area of a country is approximately 84,470 square miles. All right, so let's move the decimal over from the end. One, two, three, four places. And then we're going to look at that eight and say that the digit behind it is four. So that's not enough to make a round up. So we're going to have eight times ten to the fourth power. And that's an estimate of how many square miles are in this uh, country. So our assignment is going to look a lot like that. And it's number 44, Estimating Scientific Notation. It's on Alex. Make sure to show your work by writing down the number, um, showing how you move the, de the decimal left or right, and then what you round it to. That's how you'll show your work today. Thank you very much.